Oh my gosh, Macaron's making a tutorial? What? what? Is it the end of the world? Probably. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the end of the world is. It's the end of the world. Hey, well, let's do our intro and get on with our lives, guys. Hello, everybody. My name is Macaron Paris Pretty, and welcome to a tutorial that no one asked for. It's for myself, mainly, but you know. Welcome to a tutorial on how to... Edit your MMD PMX models. Again, no one asked for this tutorial. I'm doing this for myself. Because, yeah, I, I've been editing models. And this is how I do that. I know a lot of people will go into, like, PMX editor and just edit the facials that way. I do it a completely different way. It's ten times harder, but you get the look that you want. That's literally... My, like I said, my way's ten times harder. But you can get the look you want without, you know... I guess effing your models up? I don't... N no other way to say it better than that. Now before I begin this tutorial, you all, you all know the drill. This tutorial is mainly for Windows PC, but you can, can use an Apple OS device or an Android OS device. And I'll explain how here in a second, because I'm going to be using my iPad for part of this tutorial, and I'll record my screen for that as well. So yeah, yeah, let's just get started, Macaron. Shut the heck up, dude. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and push A on our keyboard to delete all that. And then we're gonna push N on our keyboard as well. It brings this thing to the side. And by the way, this is Blender. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. I'm in Blender right now. So we'll go to MMD, import the model, and we're going to just randomly import a model. I don't... There be. There, there, my girl. Hi, girl. Hi. How you doing? Hello there. Hi. Hi there. Okay. Now that we've done weird stuff, please stop, Macaron. You're scaring everyone. We're going to select, push the A button to select everything in our model. We're going to go to File, Export, and then FBX. We're gonna call. We're gonna save it here. We're gonna call it. You know, we're just gonna call it, call it Untitled because that just. It's just how things work. You're going to export that FBX. And then what you're going to do is you're going to email yourself that X FBX. Excuse me. So you're going to email yourself that FBX file. Or you can put it in a Dropbox, I guess. Some kind of box. Uh, I don't know. You're going you're gonna to do that, though. And then, and then, and this is one's optional. You can either do this next step in... Actually, for... If you're doing everything on your computer... You don't even have to export the FBX file. However, if you're doing what I'm doing, doing it like, you know, on your Android or something, you're going to have to do this this next, you're going to have to do the FBX export. I'm sorry to say, you're just going to have to do it. That just how it be. Anyway, the program that I'm using is for both Android and Apple OS, and I'm using my iPad for this, but it's called, um... It's called Nomad, and I'll I'll put a link for that in the description because you you guys know you need some Nomad. So I'm using, and again, like I said, you do not even need this program. This is an optional. You can do the same thing in Blender or whatever you have. Blender mainly, or even ZBrush if you have ZBrush, you, you can probably do it there as well. I'm gonna say you can because I don't deal with ZBrush. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this little folder icon up here and you're going to go import and you're going to find wherever you saved that file, which mine's right here. Open that. And then we're going to click on new project because really, yeah, you don't really need to... Brain, please work for me. You don't really need to import it on the circle thing, I guess, is what I was trying to say. And you see these little three things right here that I'm clicking on with this pencil? Yeah, we're going to scroll all the way down. If it's a PMX model, just scroll all the way down. All these are bones. But you'll see something that says base mesh. Just go ahead and click on that. And then you can just take the move tool, which is right right up here, right right here. And you can, uh, you know, edit your models however you want. So we're going to make this girl extremely deformed. Woo. I guess we're giving her tentacle uh, mouth. I don't... What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Just, I guess, whatever you want to do with... There we go. Let, give her a horn. That looks beautiful. Oh my gosh. How how amazing is this model? <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Oh my gosh. 
Anyway, uh, once you, you know, messed your model up, you're gonna click on those three things again. And then these three dots over here, you're gonna push uh, separate face group. So now you've got all these meshes that was in the original model to begin with. So now you're going to go to this folder thing and you're going to export it as an FBX file. So click export FBX and then you save that crap to, uh, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, we'll call it tutorial, or I'm going to call it tutorial. You guys can call it whatever you want, I'm calling it tutorial. Save that. And again, you're gonna, you know, email that stuff to or box that stuff, I guess. That works too. And then I'll meet you guys uh back in uh back in Blender. I'll meet you guys back in Blender. Alright, we are back in Blender. Yay, finally. <laughs> Took me a minute, but you know, just how it rolls, or just how it works, I guess. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna file import and import the FBX that you edited. Not even a word, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna find the thing we made, which is right here. And when you zoom in, dear God, Dolly, what happened? Oh gosh. No, calm down. You don't need to worry about this. It's just it has so many morphs and facials that it looks broken. But it really isn't broken. You, you guys are good in the hood. Anyway, so, uh, so as I was saying, uh, when you go into Blender, this all the facials are on. You guys, this is this is why it looked like it does here. Oh dear God. <laughs> um, anyway, so you're gonna click on this X right here, and this will clear the facials. Every oh, clear all the facials. So so now that we fixed our model, you are going to push the N on your keyboard to get bring up this menu. And actually, before you do that, click on your go to root and then base mesh right click select hierarchy and then you're going to go right here where this little square thing is I guess it's object you're going to change the scale to one on each of these I know it shrinks it down but you want this you want this and rotation zero degrees and I'll show you why you want that here in a second so we're going to go to uh, the MMD tool import and we're going to import our base that or whatever you were using at the time import that bad boy yeah hi there um, and then you're going to delete the mesh so when you go into uh, over here where your scene is it should be labeled like base or what it should be labeled your model name basically so you click on that click on the armature and there's the mesh right click on that delete hierarchy that's gone select the mesh of your of your edited model and then control click the armature and then you're going to click control P click on object and there you go it's all well it's not really rigged very well but you can actually delete uh, the brain please work for me what was with the FBX file you you can you can do all that you're good now and again depending on what you did with your model you may have to fix your your facials and morphs and whatnot, but I'm not gonna do that for this tutorial. That's but you will you can either fix them in Blender or you can fix them in PMX other, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that that basically concludes this tutorial, honestly. Like I said that this is for absolutely no one but myself. I did this tutorial for myself, but you know. Also I forgot to mention because this is how Dolly's brain works, but you know, whenever you're done with uh with your editing and whatever else you need to do, just click on the A on your keyboard to select everything and then click on export. Right over here where it says model export, click on that. And then call it whatever you untitled.pmx, export that. Or, or there's another option. You can go to file, export, and then PMX over here. It doesn't really matter how you do it. And again, I would suggest uh, making the textures in Blender because if you just export this PMX editor uh, as a PMX without doing that, then you're gonna just have one material and that's gonna be kind of a hassle. So again, again to do that, just tab, edit mode, go here, and make however many things you need. Yeah, just do it, do it that way and it'd be ten times easier.